Hi everyone and Happy New Year. In this video, I want to teach you how to install FreePBX. FreePBX is a web-based open source graphical user interface or GUI that manages Asterisk. Asterisk is a voice over IP and telephony server. With FreePBX, you can easily run your own telephony system for your home or for your company. Last week, version 16 of FreePBX Distro is released, and it is available to download from FreePBX website. Version 16 has some major upgrades that the biggest one is using PHP version 7. There are two methods to install FreePBX. First method is using FreePBX Distro, that it will automatically install Linux, and more precisely send to S7. Asterisk, FreePBX, and all required packages. Second method is to install operating system and all required packages manually. In this video, I decided to teach you how to install FreePBX 16 using FreePBX Distro on a cloud platform. I'm using Linode cloud platform, and in this video, we will learn how to load FreePBX Distro ISO file in Linode and how to install it. Of course, the installation part is the same as any other uh, cloud platform or if you want to install it on a virtual box or a virtual machine. So let's get started. We are starting by creating a Linode and then configure Linode so that we can load our ISO file. So I log into my uh, Linode cloud platform. I'm creating a ISO file. Uh, actually, you don't need that much resources, but I want to use a dedicated one so that it installs faster. So I'm selecting the aspects that I want. I'm selecting the region, for example, Sydney. Operating system is not important. The name, we can give it a name as FreePBX16. And we set a password. Of course, I want to be able to connect via my SSH keys. So I just enter my password again and create Linode. OK, we need to wait till the uh, Linode is provisioning. You can check the percentage here. When the provisioning done, you need to power off the Linode. And we select the Linode, and we go to the storage. What we need to do, because we want to load FreePBX distro ISO file as a CD in our system, so, and we install it. So first, we need to delete all the storage that we have there. We delete the first one and also the second one. We need to wait a little so that it can delete. Linode is still busy. OK, the partitions are deleted. And we need to create, we need to add disk. So uh, FreeBricks Distro is about two and it, it is about three gigabytes. So for the label for the first disk, let's name it Installer. We select as raw. This is important. File system should be raw. And we give it 3 gigabyte of space. This is the partition that we will use for loading the ISO file. And then we are creating another disk. Let's name it FreePBX. Partition as raw. And we can assign the balance that we have. OK, we are good with the disks. Next step is to go to the configurations. We delete the default configuration. And we need to add two configurations, one for uh, booting from the CD-ROM, and the second one is booting when we have installed the system. So let's name the first one as Installer. The kernel we need to select as direct disk. 
Our first partition should be FreePBX, that is dev SDA, and dev SDB should be our installer. The root device should be dev SDB because we want to boot into our installer. And we need to disable all file system or boot helpers. And we create add configuration. The second configuration, we need to click, we need to click on the add configuration. Let's name it FreePBX. Select kernel as direct disk. Dev SDA1 as FreePBX. And we don't need Dev SDB because actually this is the boot configuration that we will use after we have installed the system. So we don't need to load the CD-ROM again. So just keep it as FreePBX and the device as Dev SDA because we want to actually boot to the FreePBX and disable all the boot helpers. Okay, that's it. So we have two configuration a storage and also configurations. After we have configured these two steps, we need to load our ISO file. In order to load the ISO file, you need to uh, actually go to the FreePBX website. Click on the downloads. And here, if you click on view all versions, you will see that the uh, FreeBix version 16 is released on December 2021. Uh, what we need is the full ISO. If you click on it, of course, it will download. We don't want to download in our local disk. So, but we want to have the actually link. So we can just copy link address here. Let me cancel this one as well because I don't want to have it in my computer. I just copy link address of the ISO file. So we need to go back to our Linux and we need to uh, boot into the rescue mode because this is where we can download uh, and load our FreePBX into a CD-ROM. So let's put it into rescue mode. You don't need to change anything. Reboot into the rescue. It will take a little time. Okay, when the uh, rebooting to the rescue mode completed and the status is running, we can select here and launch Leash console. It will give, give us access to the uh, rescue mode. So here we need to load our ISO file into the dev SDA. To achieve this, we can use this command CURL, then the pass of our ISO file that we have copied from the FreeBBX website, filter. We use the command DD to write to use the command CURL to download. At the same time, the command DD to uh, write into output device of dev sda that's it that's our uh, partition that we have assigned for the cdrom so curl the pass filter dd space of equals to dev sda and we enter as you can see it will start to download and after it downloaded it will write to the dev SDA. Okay, the download is completed and it's returned to the dev SDA. Uh, next step is actually to boot to our installer. So we you can click on the reboot and select the installer configuration and submit because it's loaded as a, a CD into our system and we want to actually boot into the CD-ROM. The person and the system is running. We need to click and launch Leash Console. 
as you can see, the we are in the boot page of the FreePBX, and we can select the FreePBX version and the asterisk version. Actually, the FreePBX version is 16, but the, you can install with different asterisk versions. Of course, it's better to use the uh, asterisk 16, that is the latest stable one. It is uh, mentioned as recommended as well. So we just select Astri 16 installation, as uh, Freefix 16 installation, and Astri 16, the recommended one. And here is the uh, format of output. Of course, if you have a monitor or if you have a serial, then it can output the uh, UI into different outputs. We need to select actually the VGA. And uh, we want to install a graphical one. We don't want to be fully automated. So graphical installation and output to VGA. OK, this is the trick part. After you have clicked on that, then you need to click on the Jewish console. so that you can see the process. So it won't show in the uh, weblish console. You need to select glish console so that you can proceed to the installation. The installation is very uh, straightforward as well. We will go through that. So the only thing actually you need to do is to just set a root password. You click on the root password and you enter your root password. And you select done. So this installer will automatically install Linux operating system, Asterisk, FreePBX, Apache Web Server, and any other package that is in it that is required, and it will automatically configure them. After the installation finished, you can just access to the web page and uh, do the first step. So we will wait till the installing is finished so that we can proceed.